Welcome to the 14th video in the series MVMAT Unfolded, a complete guide to the MVMAT software. In the last video, we have finished our explanation of the 3D modeling software spaces. In this video, we will set up and start our simulation using the MV Guide and the MV Core. Upon opening the MV Guide, the first step that catches our eye is the General Settings tab. In the top, we can set the date and time for our simulation. Underneath that, we can choose a full and short name for our simulation files. We can also choose the folder where we want our simulation output files to be saved. Under Model Area, we need to import the Model Area file we have created using Spaces. It is a file with the ending .inx. The last option in the General Settings tab lets us decide if we want to run our simulation on multiple CPU cores for faster processing. Under Meteorology, we can set the climatic boundary conditions for our simulation. This is explained in Part 6 of our Getting Started series, and therefore won't be covered in this video. While the general settings in the Meteorology are mandatory sections, MVMAT also allows us to change a variety of options for our simulation. For that, we click on the Add Optional Section button. Here we can see 8 different sections in that we can define details for our simulation. Please note that the standard settings provide a good basis for a broad range of applications. Therefore, we only recommend to adjust any settings based on informed decisions to prevent unrealistic simulation results or other complications. In the soil section, we can set the initial soil humidity and soil temperature of different depth layers. For every further optional section we want to add to our setup, we again need to click on the Add Optional Section button. We can also remove a section by selecting it and then clicking Remove Optional Section. In the Radiation section, we can adjust several parameters regarding the radiation in our simulation. In the top section, we can adjust the precision of the ray tracing and the IVS module. The IVS module allows for high levels of detail in the calculation of short and long wave radiation fluxes. For more information on the topic, we provide you a link to a 20 minute tutorial in our YouTube description. The next section allows us to choose the calculation method for the mean radiant temperature, or MRT. In simple terms, MRT represents the radiative heat load received by a standing human body. In regard to the MRT calculation, we can also select the calculation method of the human projection factor, which is also described here, estimates the surface of a human body hit by radiation. In the lower section, we can choose if we want to use the Advanced Canopy Radiation Transfer module or ACRT. Here we will also find a short description about it. The solar adjustment factor to the right is not recommended to be changed and is only available due to legacy reasons. In the building section, we can set the initial indoor temperature as well as the surface temperature of the buildings in our model area. We can also choose if the indoor temperatures should be kept constant and therefore should not be influenced by the outdoor climate. Moving on to the plant section, we can choose if we want to use user-defined values for the leaf transmittance. We recommend to not change this. We can also choose if we want the tree calendar to be taken into account in our simulation. Beneath that option, we can also set the CO2 background concentration in parts per million. The Output section lets us select what kind of output files of our simulation should be saved. We can also change the saving intervals of our output files. Output data of MVMAT simulations is very complex and therefore can take up a lot of memory. Therefore, caution is advised when changing these values. We can also choose to write additional NetCDF output files. Let's move on to the Pollution section. The first option here, under the General Pollutant Simulation settings, lets us choose if only the user pollutant should be simulated. The Active Chemistry module enables chemical reactions between different pollutants and can be chosen to be active or not. Under Background Concentration, we can select the initial concentration of pollutants in the atmosphere. Under User Pollutant, we can name our user pollutant that we have defined before in the Database Manager. We can also choose the chemical species or type of the pollutant. In the timing section, we can adjust calculation timings of different parameters. Please consider that with higher timing resolution, simulation times can extend considerably. The expert section allows for further settings to be adjusted. Again, these settings should only be changed based on informed decisions. If we have successfully adjusted all the option settings we want, and have covered the general setting and meteorology, 
we are able to save our setup file as a simx file. To now start the simulation, we need to open the MV Core in the MVMAT headquarter. Here we first need to select our project in the top right. Then we must select our simx file we have just created. With everything loaded successfully, we can either check the simulation or directly start it. Now that we know how to set up and start our simulation, stay tuned for the next video, where we will begin to explain our data analysis program, Leonardo.